Hi, this is Linz from Sweet Natured and this is our Cunard Queen Elizabeth full review. As always, I'm joined by Mikey. Hello. Hello, who put the video together and this is my first time watching. So let's see what we can see. Starting off with embarkation lens. Yeah, I, I don't remember it being that wet. It was very wet that day. It was. Oh, I do remember now because it was coming through the awning when we were queuing up for our testing. It was. So this was taken at a time when you still had to do testing on site. Yes. But we got through really quickly from us getting to the port and getting parked to having the test to getting on the ship. We were about 25 minutes at the top side. Where we parked was we didn't realise we were very close. We, we came down the same day. Um, um, yeah, we just, it was like two minutes. Yeah, we stayed in the little triangle car park, I think it was called. Yes. Um, and yeah, it's a two minute walk, but the embarkation yeah. was uh, really as quick as they get in this day and age. Yes. I mean, it, there was the testing, like you say, and then you had to wait to be called to get your results. But here we are and on board, checking our room. Yeah, straight on, straight on to the room. Because when we did get on, we could go straight to the room. Yes, because you get on a little bit later. Now, this is me doing a little bit of first impression room tour. And if you want to see, the check out the full video. We'll put the links below to both the cabin one and the food one and the drinks package as well. Oh, are we good? <laughs> <laughs> We're on the wine, people. We're on the wine. Let's cheers. Okay. Oh, and oh, you can see I like the towels. The room was very nice. It was the aircon we only had the issue with, was it? And you didn't like the bed. No, I thought the bed was over hard. Um, it could have done with a mattress top of some <laughs> sort because you could feel the divide where the two twins and together. And I'm laughing because you love a princess bed. And, yeah, it was very nice. Oh, subscribe. Yeah, if you've not subscribed to us yet, please do hit that subscribe channel. It will help us load. Button. Subscribe button even, yeah, for our channel. <laughs> and thank you if you already have. As I say, we're on the wine, so if you want to help us and the channel and the wine, please subscribe. And hit the like button. <laughs> anyway, back back to the cabin <laughs> tour. It had a huge amount of wardrobe space in there. We do cover this off a lot more in, in the cabin Yes, review. but it's for your fancy gear or for formal nights or if you want to dress for dinner. It is, because the expectation is on Cunard, and it certainly was before we went on it, that people dress up a lot more than they do on, say, NCL or Royal Caribbean. Or Basically any Orlando. other cruise. Any yeah. other cruise. Well, that was our expectation, and we'll come back onto that a yeah. bit later on. Yes. Uh, because our, our thoughts was, you know, is this a, a cruise that's too stuffy, too posh for us? Are we going to feel out of place? And, and we didn't. No, and we will come back to that a lot more. But you know, on, on the room at the moment, we were on a midship balcony cabin. Yes. We really love the balcony. spacious balcony, as you'll see in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, the room itself was nice and quiet. We were near the laundrette, but we never heard anyone. No, because we were only on a seven-night cruise. You had a kettle. You had a proper kettle, some some decent tea bags, some nice teapots. But it was a really good balcony cabin. We, we didn't go in Princess or Queen's. Because uh, this was our first ever Cunard. But cruise. we're hoping to next time on, on the Queen Anne when that's released, aren't we? Are, we? Yeah. That's the plan. And look, the hefty, hefty hairdryer. I mean, in respect of the bits that... Oh, you can see my little face. I'm, I'm happy with that nozzle. <laughs> <laughs> but in respect of the bits? Yeah, it was... We, it was, we were really pleased. A little fridge. We got a little um, bottle of fizz. Beautiful glasses, our room attendant was wonderful. Yeah, plenty of choice on the TV. That's it. The only thing that let it down for me was, was the, the bed. And also the door for me. No, the door for me was better. You like this door, but to me, I like a slidey door. So that you can you, leave it open a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, being a lady of a certain age. Whereas this one, you either open or close. There's no in yeah, between. And when it was really windy or stormy, it was a harder door to open. Yeah. But I just found it easier than the sliding doors. I think it, it heralds back to the days of old. That would have been the kind of door you Before you they had sliding doors. Before you had sliding doors. But I, you know, I like a sliding door. You can see from the balcony here, and this is just a normal balcony cabin. We didn't get an extra large balcony or anything like that. It's really quite wide. Yeah. Because those are reclining chairs, so you can tell already. You get a tiny little table mm -hmm. on there. But we had loads of space. We didn't get time to use it as much because the weather were a bit rubbish. A bit. Didn't stop me. <laughs> I just got wet and cold when I was out there. 
No, there was a couple of times we got to sit but out. It but it wasn't obstructed or anything? No, no, we were very pleased with it to say this was a guaranteed balcony. And it was cabin 6067. Yes, well, lovely. Entertainment. So, <laughs> you get the daily programmes through. As you do. And there's a lot of information going on there. Feel free to pause it and, and have a, a proper look. I wanted to go at the watercolours, but continue. <laughs> you can talk about the watercolours and the painting. The entertainment on QNAD is a lot more, I think, traditional is a good word. I love the quiz. I love the quiz. The quizzes were fantastic, in particular the wipeout quiz. And the second we love the wipeout well, quiz. You'll be able to hear you now. Hear How me? did we do in the quiz lens? We won. But and we went all in. We wouldn't, but that, that couple beat us. They got a higher score than us, but we we went balls deep. We did. <laughs> on, a, on a subject we have no idea about. So we got 1,600 points. But we didn't, we didn't have the highest score. And apparently we've won a bottle of wine. Three bottles of stuff everywhere. And we've had, what, three cocktails before we did this? Four cocktails? Three. I think it unlocked parts of our minds. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. <laughs> And apologies for the slightly fruitier language. Lindsay was very excited that she won the quiz that day. Oh my goodness. Because <laughs> we randomly guessed what was the collective of a butterfly. And you laughed at me because I, when I said a flutter. I did. I thought that was a daft answer. And as it turned out, we won a bottle of wine. So well done. The, we were in the, was it the garden? Oh my god. Garden God-ed lounge. Terrace. Something. Garden terrace. It, beautiful. Like a massive conservatory. It was gorgeous. Now this is... This is what I imagined it was before I went on. Because you got the Queen's Room, you got the ballroom dancing, and we saw some really serious ballroom dancers when we That were gentleman had good arms there, as Len would say. He did. Seven! <laughs> <laughs> you had very traditional stuff in there. You, you had the singing. Uh, we had Julian Lloyd Webber on this particular cruise who was introducing um, a, a really well-renowned pianist. I want to call him Ed. I think he was called Ed. I think he was called Ed. He was under the conservatoire now, of... there's of... no filming in here, apart from when before it started, because they were uber strict about us recording anything in there. Now, we sat behind one of the boxes, but it was lovely. Now, this lady made me smile. She was great, wasn't she? She was, she was our classic loungy jazz singer, yeah, wasn't she? Was she? Very, very breathy, very... She felt it now, all. I've, I've sped this bit up a little bit to show some other sort of entertainment, so it doesn't take five minutes for me to walk around. But you've got things like the croquet area and bulls and paddle tennis, um, which is I'm very putting, different. Uh, this is me putting my hand up with my wine. I'm not sure this will be on the Queen Anne, you know, you because think? I think this is prime real estate for the amount of usage and cost they could get for, say, like a sanctuary or a retreat. I you would be genuinely interested for anyone who's used that area when the weather's nice, if it's busy. We never saw anyone in there all the time. Oh, my God, I just saw Fo the bread. Food and drink. Oh, the food and drink on Queen Elizabeth was exceptional. It was amazing. It was amazing. To I mean, say please do check out the full food uh, review that we've done on there, where we're going to it in a lot more detail than on this. But there wasn't a bad meal. Very VIP. Very VIP. Very VIP. Is that what you reckon? <laughs> uh, it was great. But it was. Everything was. Incredibly well presented, whether we were in the main dining room like we are here in Britannia. And they pitched it right as well, so at lunch it wasn't too heavy or stodgy, even though the dishes were at really rich. It was, yes. at, at dinner time it was a nicer size. Yeah, I, it was. A, we were so pleased with the food choices. And yeah. you could go a little bit um, in, international, or you could keep it traditional. Oh, it was great. It, really, really good. There was... As I've said a couple of times already, we didn't have a single bad meal on there. No. Wherever we went, and that included the Lido restaurant, uh, the Lido buffet, rather. Yeah. Um, the Britannia room, where we're in now, the main dining room. Veranda, where we lived. The veranda, which was an exceptional... You pay a little bit more for that, but it was, in my opinion, well, well worth it. It was well worth it, apart from the night that you were really super seasick. Yeah, but we don't have to talk about that again. <laughs> I would put the veranda room... I think in my top five restaurants that at I've, sea at or sea. ever. No, not ever. That I'd have to put a lot more thought into that. Oh, yeah, you would. But yeah. definitely in my top five oh. across any cruise line, sticky toffee pudding. I love their sticky toffee pudding. They did it really well, didn't they? The, there was nothing that they did wrong on it. The Golden Lion Pub was traditional British pub fare, and it tasted like you're in a British pub. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's not to say it's bad. It was what you would expect to get in there. 
the menus every night were completely different. Yes. There was none of this bit where we've seen on other cruise lines where you have half the menu which is favourites and you can pick the same thing every night if you wanted. Yeah. On this one, it is very different menus each night. We the loved gala it. gala night's different to other nights. Can can I use this bit? Oh, that bread. Oh, the Random best bread. bread. The best, best bread at sea. On, honestly, I'm not a bread person, but my goodness, that bread was good. Look how pretty you look there on gala night as oh, well. Oh, bless you. you. How can you... You would appreciate me now. On the night, you were... Did not appreciate any of that. I'm, I'm genuinely amazed that I filmed anything this night because I was very seasick. I'm surprised you're actually focusing on, well, anything. That's an illusion there that I'm happy. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> In any way. But, yeah, it all looks you great. See I didn't that, try any of it this night. Whatever that... Was that ginger, that colour there? That was the colour you were by the end where you left me in the restaurant by myself. You told me to go. I and did tell you to go. after you'd had dessert. I got dessert, not I, when I'd I finished dessert, hours, so not so that so. I'd finished dessert, you, you kind of got anyway, through it. let's not detract Can from we talk the about the service? We can talk about the service. I want to say that unlike any other cruise ship, there is a definite hierarchy on Cunard, and I think that's probably what people pick up on when they call it a little bit, a bit, a bit snooty, posh, a bit yeah. Snooty. You think? Yeah, the definitely. The service were amazing. It was, but you can definitely tell who's the maitre d', who's the restaurant manager, who's just... Do you think? Definitely. I, maybe, think, maybe that's just me being... Do you think being... it was just a better level of service in the sort of upcharged restaurant, the veranda, compared to in the main dining room? It's, I won't say it's a, a level of service. It's just wherever you walked on the ship, you could tell who had a higher standing, I felt. And maybe... Think... Yeah, mate, I, I, I'm not sure I picked up on that as much, but I get what you're on about. I just, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna go into details, but there was an incident, and I felt, oh, and it wasn't the, it wasn't us being snooty. Yeah, <laughs> we're not snooty. We're, we're so not snooty, but yeah, oh, the pavlova, that was good. Now you leave me now, don't you? I filmed this, and then I go right. I'm going. But we did come back here another twice. So we did. We, we, we did. did. We more than got to make up for it. We certainly did. And bless them, they did a little like plate for you to take with me. And but you can find out more about that on our food review if you really want to know what they gave me to step back to my room when I was feeling a bit rough. <laughs> we also had room service, which we don't generally have on no. cruise ships. We, we tend to go out, but we thought, oh, well, we'll try their breakfast. Because we had such good things. And, and it was amazing. It was amazing. It was so but good. It, it was all warm. It was obviously it, individually cooked. It felt like it had just come from the restaurant to our table. Yeah. We weren't waiting there for ages. The toast was a bit cold, but toast is cold by the time it gets to your table normally. But everything was incredibly How well packed. It, it was very early in the morning this particular day. Because we didn't realise the clocks went back, and that's something you should pay attention to. You should do that, yeah. This was um, their cheesecake that we had, I think, was it in the veranda? Yes, because we lived in the veranda. And it was an amazing cheesecake, but it was so big and stodgy. Yeah. It says it's for two. You could easily share that with three. I've Yeah. It, it was very heavy duty. I mentioned earlier about the Golden Lion pub being like um, Great traditional place for lunch. pub food. Yeah. You know, steak and kidney pie, chips, peas, the, uh, fish and chips. That's meant to be a steak and kidney pudding. It is, but it was a pie, wasn't it? It was a flaky pastry pie. It, it was. I, That's not, not a pudding. the same thing as a pudding. Not a suey pudding. Not if pudding. you're in North but, of England. No, but I did enjoy it very much. It did. And the pub got very busy at lunchtime. It did. If we, we went in there about sort of quarter past twelve, you couldn't get a table. No, we got quarter in there to twelve. Doors. Nobody there. Yeah. And then it was just full. Like you blinked and then there was it was full. Then you've got the afternoon tea, which takes place in the Queen's room every day. Yeah. Uh, it's very much a, a sort of a showcase for them. Uh, you get sandwiches, Prosecco, which is part of the drinks package if you have the drinks yes, package. Yes, unless you go above your allocation, of course. Yeah, but for this particular one, it was all part of it. Lovely choice of desserts and chocolates. and it, It's a really nice experience. I'm going to say the desserts on Cunard were delightful. I mean, that rum bar you're, by you You're had. a dessert person, are you? So. Yeah, you'd rather have a starter in the main course. I would. Now, we got the uh, beer, wines and spirits package, which was $69 per person, so about £50 UK at the moment. Uh, and I thought it was worth every penny of it. And we didn't have to worry about what we were ordering. We got, unlike p &O, we had lots of drinks covered. It was great. Yeah, it, you got up to um, 12 
per drink. Yes. And you could have singles or doubles. Well, there were so many drinks covered by that oh, 12 doors. The, I mean, do check out our, our full drinks package review for a lot more information on that uh, and why we thought it was so good. But the choice of drinks on that, there were so many good bars. That you've got sort of the Commodore oh, Club, you've great. got the Yacht Club, uh, you've got the, what was the one in the midship? Oh, the gin uh, and fizz one. Yeah, I think that's what they called it. Midship yeah. bar, gin and fizz. Yeah, because on, on the menu it said gin and fizz bar, and then the other one it said midship. But you had so many different choice of cocktails in each one. They had a book. The gin and fizz bar l properly had a book, didn't it? It was like yeah. 25 pages long. Uh, we didn't get anywhere near no. through that one. That That's a challenge for anyone taking drinks package, <laughs> working your way through the gin and fizz uh, catalogue of cocktails. Catalogue is a good description, <laughs> but yeah. Really and you used to get sort of late afternoon, early evening, uh, a selection of little canopies and nibbles and crisps. And Loved nuts. that. And Loved it. It was just a nice way to you start You felt off. spoiled and, and special when you they did. bring those little bits out. We never had a problem getting um, a table in any of the bars at any time, with the exception of the Yacht Club at Karaoke Town. Yeah, that was heaving, wasn't it? You had to turn up there in advance. But not because they crossed tables off. No, no, it was just packed. Yeah. It, it, you know, I think they'd have been better off doing the karaoke in maybe this lounge at nine o'clock at night, <laughs> where there's actually room. The other one felt a bit small. But food and drink across the whole of Cunard completely lived up to its reputation. Yeah, it was great. Which really good. We enjoyed it so much. It's not much. always the case on all cruise ships. No. On this one. No, sometimes it feels mass-produced. Absolutely was. On to the um, pools and spa slings. Yes, I mean, the spa, I mean, we didn't get in the pool pool, did we? No, the pool was actually closed most of the time. It had a net on it. It did. But the it, sea was pretty bouncy. It was. I don't think that helps keep the water in. I've never been convinced of the net. <laughs> uh, it's possible to keep more people out of it. Um, but it has the... I never thought the, the about pool. it that way. You're right. <laughs> it has the pool <laughs> midship. And it has the one at the back. The back one was lovely. Yeah. A um, couple of hot tubs as well back there. Very quiet. Incredibly quiet. I mean, at this time, we're, we're currently pulled into one of the ports. So it makes it look even quiet. And it was raining. Um, but even I don't when it was, remember it being so wet. It Two of the days we had it really wet. Um, but the rest of the time, it, it was fine. It was mild, though, wasn't it? It wasn't it was. freezing. The pools weren't cold. No. They, they were at a nice temperature. Look, there's a person in there. Yeah, this this is the midship one. Uh, we went into the hot tubs quite a few times. We uh, did. While we were in, there. in fact, you might even see a picture of us in a second in there. Really? Only a quick picture. Oh. <laughs> I'm waiting for this picture. No, you, you have to wait a few seconds. Oh. But as you can see from there, it you've got the net. See, didn't keep the water in. But keep the, the people out. out. I get now. Oh, okay. I can cope with that picture. Can you cope with that picture? Yeah. So that's in there. We went into the hydro pool, which is an upcharge. Yes. Part of the spa. Yeah. Uh, and I think it was about $120 for the week for us both. We didn't intend to do it, but we did it. Oh, good grief. We did it after looking around it. Yeah. And because also, we'd... You know, it was very relaxing and very quiet. It was. We also knew the weather was going to be a bit colder, and this pool in in, in there is like being like in a, a hot bath. tub, a really warm bath. It was like a bath. It was lovely. It was. I always felt semi guilty putting those jets on when people were chilled out having a sleep, <laughs> yeah. but people did it anyway, so I, I felt less bad in there. But it was such a nice area. Then at the other side of it, that was an interesting angle. It looked it looked like an alien. <laughs> it, it did a little bit, didn't it? Uh, at the other side of it, which I didn't get uh, as much chance to shoot because there were always people in there, um, you had the steam rooms and saunas and some And the, the hot beds, beds. yes. Is, and, but you could only go in there for two hours at a time as part of this session. Mm -hmm. You could book them. I think two hours was enough. It was. I mean, to be fair, each time we went in, we spent two hours in there. We kind of did like an hour doing things and an hour snoozing. You spent an hour snoozing. I spent an hour snoozing. <laughs> yeah, but I, then I, I was all ready and good to go for the evening. Then yeah. I could get in a shower and get sorted. But it is um, part of the spa that I would really highly recommend. Yeah. And yeah, it was lovely and very quiet. Oh, now. A couple of parts of call. So we went on this particular cruise into Lisbon and Vigo. Now, I'm not going to go into all the excursions and everything else, but I thought it was interesting just for us to talk about it because it's our first Cunard one. 
in terms of what the pricing was like for the excursions. Yeah, okay, okay. As opposed to the excursions themselves. Now, so, they, they actually swapped the days around, didn't they? So some people's excursions didn't happen. No. So we were due to go to Vigo for two days and Lisbon for one, and because of the weather, we ended up going to Lisbon for two and Vigo for one. Yes. No, other way around. Um, Vigo for two, Lisbon for one. Um, but we we went on their little tuk-tuk Oh, which we were out for about half a day, about four hours. Oh, we got to see all sorts and we got to try um, port at ten past ten in yeah, the morning. Yeah, you're going to see it in a second. But we were with another couple. There were just us and one other couple. In but there was a fleet hours of tuk-tuks. There was. You can see another one in front of us here. Um, and I think it was about £80 a piece. Is how much it was? It wasn't expensive relative to some when you were out for that long and we had you know, food, food and drink. Throughout. Oh, there was cheese as well with the port, wasn't there? there? Was. And then we had the... Go on, try and say it. Panat. Danasta. Little sort of custard cakes Patata that are famous in, in Portugal. <laughs> little custard tarts, they were dreamy. Now. It went really quick, this little tuk tuk. At one point towards the end of it, he decided to, if we were. We did a drag race. Drag race against the other tuk tuk at the side, and we won. We did, we. We were doing about 60 mile an hour at that point. No! That, that seemed really fast on a tuk tuk. There you go, your little custard tart. Oh, they're so good. And they came fresh from the bakery that we were sat in when we did that. Oh, they were very good, yes. Now, I thought that the different choice of tours that they had on Cunard were really good. Yeah, so, you, uh, could, you could do something quite traditional. You could do your, like, um, cathedral and monument tour, yeah. or you could do this. Yeah, a uh, good choice for it. Now, this is us in Vigo now. So we didn't do an excursion that day. We thought we'd no, just go we just no, we didn't. Walk. We did a little bit of research because we there was an excursion to what's called Oyster Street, which is about a two minute walk. Which is a two minute walk from the ship. Yeah. So we saved some pennies and we did a little bit of research and we walked up to we Oyster and we Street. And we got some octopus and some prawns and some oh, uh, amazing oysters. oysters. They don't look that great on there, but they were amazing, weren't they? They were so good and so fresh. And overall, we give it an eight and a half out of ten. I eight and a half out of ten. I agree with that. It's lost a point for you for the bed, hasn't it? Has, it? But it's completely surpassed our expectation. It wasn't too stuffy. It wasn't too posh. You just had to dress nicely for dinner. But you didn't from... have to wear a suit and tie every night. No, you, you nights, wouldn't have gone. You, you wouldn't have on. gone if but that was the case. during the day were in jeans and shorts and very relaxed, and it was just a really, really nice experience. Not necessarily what you see. We'll on definitely here, do it again. We're definitely going to do Cunard again. And that's it. And his good arms. Cheers, so, Cheers, Mikey. And thanks for watching and have a lovely day.